My name is Clifford Snow, and I am one of the two meetup hosts um, here in Seattle. Chase is the other one, and I don't know how to work that. And so I'm here to talk about um, trying to increase the number of people mapping in the United States. We have a real problem in the United States. We just don't have enough mappers. We could use a whole lot more. And so my purpose is to encourage you to all go out and start meetup groups in your neighborhoods, in the rural areas, and try to increase the number of mappers. It, it, it will help us educate new mappers because you know, really, some of the people that learn by themselves, they make an awful lot of mistakes. If we were to give them a, a nice, gentle, hands-on approach, showing them how to use ID, we're going to see a lot less errors, a lot less to clean up. Um, we can assist with humanitarian efforts because we'll have a built-in crew of people that can edit. And uh, we'll just build a stronger community. Uh, here in Seattle, we use it to help us do a number of different imports uh, that really, really increased um, the strength of our community. And we wouldn't have been able to put this whole conference on without the fact that we have a huge base of people to draw on. So a little bit about me. I have been a mapper since May of 2011. I only know that because it says so on my profile on OpenStreetMap. Um, I, I ran into OpenStreetMap by accident. I was at a Linux Fest up in Bellingham. If those of you know about it, it's a great place to go. Um, and I had nothing else to do, so I went and heard Hurricane talk about OpenStreetMap. I started, I joined the, the meetup group, and then Steve moved to Colorado and says, Clifford, how would you like to host the meetup group? And it's like, no. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that. I was pretty new. But um, Chase and I took over from Stephen Hurricane. I honestly don't remember when. Do you remember, Chase? Yeah, 2013, something like that. Anyway, I'm also active in Kugos, which is the local open geo group. We have a large contingent of people um, in the um, Puget Sound QGIS group. And I also um, have three meetup groups that I, I host, kind of, would you say. The Seattle OSM one, the Vancouver, and the North Puget Sound. Um, I have a lot of work to do on those other two, and I'm going to try to follow some of my own ideas here to see if I can actually get them going. So our meetup group was created all the way back in 2008. I just ran into Steve, and I said, Steve, when did you start this group? And he, he said, I think it was between 2008, 2009. So he had a really good memory. It started in 2008 by um, Steve and Hurricane. Uh, Chase and I went to a whole lot of meetups with them that they um, set up, and we did both East Side and, and Seattle area. Um, and then we took over, um, and we've been working on it ever since as a partner. This is, this is um, really takes a lot of work, and so having two people is great. Chase, thank you very much. Um, uh, shortly, and we've already talked to him, we're, we're asking some of our more active members to become part of a leadership team, which I think is going to help us work through some of the issues as we continue to grow. And Chase and I then can take some more breathers and not have to run every meetup that we have. Um, I put this slide together, and I said, we have over 500 members. We are now over 600 members, and it's just amazing. We've done 82 meetups since the group formed. Um, sometimes we do just one a month. Other times we do multiple ones a month. Uh, I don't know how well you can see this, but this is the chart up to when we were at 500 and something. Uh, as you can see, it took a while to get there, but once, once we really got going and started running a lot of meetups, the, the growth really expanded. Now, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Most of those people you never hear from. Um, I, I look at the other meetups that they belong to. Uh, they belong to 20 and 30-something singles looking to date. And so <laughs> I, I, we've been trying to figure out how do we have a dating service out of OSM. If anybody has any good ideas, please tell me. I think we can increase the population of mappers <laughs> tenfold. <laughs> so, meetup. So, what is meetup? Uh, this, is, this is right off of their webpage. Uh, they're the world's largest um, 
organization or company that provides a service that, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands maybe of meetup groups. Um, the nice thing about meetup is it's a way for people to find you. And OpenStreetMap does a really good job if you are GIS-centric. Most everybody in, GI, in GIS has heard of OpenStreetMap. Um, but it would be nice to get to regular people. People have other interests. Um, um, people, let's see, what did I talk to? Uh, I was talking to the officers that are roaming around the campus here. They were curious about OpenStreetMap. And I was just explaining how we have mapped every one of those emergency call buttons that you see on campus. And one of the officers says, wow, you know, we could put all our defibrillators on there and where they're located. And I said, that's a great idea. That's the purpose of OpenStreetMap is for you to go capture data that you're interested in, that somebody else is, is going to be helpful to somebody else. So um, that's the per to me the one of the wonders of, of Meetup. People find you on there. Um, Meetup is free, kind of. Um, it's free if, for most of the groups. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, charging here in the next slide. Um, like I said, it's really easy for people to find you. Um, and one of the things I really like, it's local. It's, it's your community. So if you create a meetup group um, in wherever you're from, the people in the 50 mile radius are going to find you. And that's how you're going to start building your community is just people finding you, curious of what it's about. And then actually running a lot of meetups and put lots of pictures up there. Uh, it has great communications tools. You can email everybody. There's a discussion group. You can do file sharing. You can do photo sharing. Uh, we, we love to post photos of before and after meetup uh, OSM maps. It's really fun to see the difference. Um, and, of course, you can schedule a meetup. Now, fees. So um, meetup charges um, $15 a month to an organizer. So. I pay $15 a month, and for that I get to have three meetup groups. So I have Seattle, Vancouver, and North Puget Sound. Um, you can also charge for it, or you can have somebody, there's a chip in button um, where people can, if they just want to give some money. Um, I haven't found it very useful. Um, I belong to the Puget Sound QGIS meetup group, and the organizer of that decided that he would charge, and this is what our membership looked like afterwards. <laughs> um, if you want to get information to people, get people interested in OSM, I, I don't charge. It's just going to drive them away. Um, so the, there's a, another option. There's something called Meetup Pro, and, and this part I'm going to really talk to Meetup. Um, I've been talking to Meetup. Um, our board members on the U.S. chapter have been talking to Meetup, the company. Um, they, they offer a feature called Meetup Pro. It's really great. Uh, they, they will send a bill to, like, the chapter. They can pay it, and then you can run your Meetup and not have to worry about $15 a month coming out of your pocket. Um, one of the nice things about it, you can send emails to everybody. So if we were going to have a mapathon, if we wanted to do a fix of roads in the United States and have a mapathon all over, we could send out um, a notice to everybody that's in Meetup and get them to join a mapathon. That'd be kind of a cool feature for us to have. But here's the disadvantage. And Meetup, please listen. It's three times as expensive as the regular Meetup. It costs you $15 for every Meetup group that you would fund on Meetup Pro. And that to me is just ridiculous. For one added feature, as far as I can tell, is the ability to send messages to everybody. Should be cheaper. You got, you got to find a bit different pricing model. The second thing is, give me a break. Give us OSM base maps. I really want you to have OSM base maps. The good news, I'll save you enough money on your licensing fees with that other company that you won't have to charge us so much. Okay, end the plug. <laughs> uh, building memberships. So here, here's how you do it. You just wait. <laughs> People will join your meetup. Uh, I've been trying that in Vancouver and Puget Sound, North Puget Sound. It's really slow. It's like that chart I showed you, that, that long tail. I'll be, I'm old now. I'll be really old before we have enough members to make 
something worthwhile. Uh, so here's what I recommend. Go join other meetups. Um, Open Geo, Code for America, groups that you might think might be interested in you. Um, most likely your state has a uh, ERISA chapter. Uh, get active in the ERISA. I, I go to, to the GS meetings and all I do is pitch OSM to them until they're tired of hearing from me. Um, talk to your city and county and state GIS people. Most of them love you. M my Tom um, tells me a story that he's the local GS guy he says, I was out, I wanted to fix this trail with Mapmaker, and so I was out there and I, I put the change in and he says, no, that's not right. And he says, I was just there. I'm a professional. I said, come to OSM, you can put it in and I'll guarantee you we'll take it. Um, invite mappers, we're gonna talk about that. Um, and do community projects. One of the big things we did for building membership here is we did the Seattle Building Import. And the Seattle Building Import, I don't know how many people we got, but we increased our membership hugely when we did that. We got brand new people and that really helped us. And most of them were really pretty good mappers. And there's some very active mappers that are still left from that group. Um, some other things, um, I haven't done this yet, but 4-H um, clubs, um, Future Farmers of America, scouting organizations, um, I have talked to my local Chamber of Commerce in Mount Vernon, um, not officially, but just talked to them. Um, I've done presentations at Linux groups. Um, uh, Chase, I think, was at a Maker's Fair here in Seattle. Um, I bet you guys know some others, so who else would you guys recommend we hit? Geocaching, geocaching yeah, good one. Uh, there, there's a huge market of geocachers. I actually ran, ran it the other day. Any other obvious ones? Pardon? Pokemon, Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon, yeah. They're everywhere, aren't they? If we could figure that one out, we'd, we'd, be, we'd be have the world mapped. Um, one of the real obvious ones is uh, bike clubs. Um, perfect example. So if you think of more, please tell me. Um, I'd love to get a bigger list. Um, and then invite mappers. Um, one of the problems with OpenStreetMap is we can only invite one person at a time through the system. And it's really cumbersome. We, we sent out um, a couple days before the conference, we, we had a whole group of people here down the hall, and we sent out messages to every one of them one at a time. And we had a list of 50. It took a while, maybe more than 50. And it took a long time to do one at a time. Um, it's frustrating. We need better tools than that, OSM. So, so Steve just mentioned that there's apparently a script. I didn't miss that email, but I've been kind of busy with something else. Talk to us. Yeah, I, I've been kind of tied up, and I've been just going through them <laughs> kind of fast. But I'll go look for that. But thanks, Steve. Um, and then finding new mappers. So here's some of the tools. Um, th this is from uh, uh, Neil or Pascal Neil Nielis, if I pronounce his name. Right. Um, this is who's around me, and the um, uh, website is on there. So you can go find it. So this is, contact those people. Some may be inactive, but you never know. They may want to get back into it. Um, here's his uh, newest mappers. This is a neat tool so you can go into your area and you can find out who in the last seven days has started mapping in there. This is a great way to find new people. And we'll hit that more in a second here. Um, there's an IRC bot um, that, if you didn't know this, every time somebody writes a note or every time there's a new, e new editor, uh, it comes up in the IRC channel. And it, uh, they now have it, everything in the world on one channel, and it's, it's amazing to watch this thing feed. There's a lot of activity. So um, I actually have a script that goes and captures um, new people, and I actually like this way of getting them, because um, it's kind of mechanized, I don't actually, actually have to do anything. Uh, but it's a great tool. Um, and then I, every, new mess, every new mapper in Washington I send out a welcome message. And I'd like to tell you I wrote this originally, but in reality this came from the Belgian community. Uh, in the US, we have it pretty easy. We only have to do it in one language. I think Belgium's got like three or four languages on theirs. 
Um, yeah, yeah, four. Um, how many people from Canada here? Okay, we, we have one from Canada, so you, you need to do two languages in Canada. Um, yeah, and if you're, if you're Canadian, I mean, if your French is as bad as mine was when I took it up there, I wish you luck. <laughs> um, so um, it'll be up on the, um, uh, my slides will be available. You can copy mine. You can go to the Belgian community. They are really happy to share. Scheduling. Um, we, we do mappy hours, mapping parties, and mapathons with hot and um, missing maps. Um, try to find a library, uh, a coffee shop, or a university. If it's a mappy hour, you probably want to go to a pub. Ma a mappy hour is where you sit and drink and brag about your, your maps, mapping edits. <laughs> I've, I've been to, those, those are some of our best turnouts. Those and the, uh, the missing maps and, and hot events are our, our biggest events by far. And they're a lot of fun. And, and I, I will give a plug for King County and C Seattle Libraries. Um, they have great meeting spaces. Um, they're nice, they're well maintained, the internet's fast. So yeah, thank you King County, thank you Seattle Libraries. Um, pick a location that needs care, some care. So just look for um, uh, business centers around town, uh, parks, universities. Um, use tools like field papers. Uh, I personally like pencil and paper. Um, for apps, um, there is nothing better than GoMap. Um, Bryce, are you in here? So, so um, GoMap is developed by uh, Bryce Cogswell here from Kirkland, and it is by far the best um, device out or best map out there. For Android or for iOS devices. Unfortunately, I have Android. Uh, and this Suchi. Um, pair up inexperienced people uh, with experienced people. Um, it really helps people feel better about it. And the nice thing about that is, is it's kind of a learning experience. When you teach somebody else, you actually learn it a little bit better. Uh, and then set a time to come back and review the data, enter it, and then help the new mappers get started with um, ID. Um, I gave this to Dale a while back. This is some short list of the things we uh, discovered between Chase and I about how to run uh, Missy Maps. Chase does most of the Missy Maps, but um, get people to sign up for OSM ahead of time. Ask them to bring a mouse, have a bag full of mice, get the, get the Red Cross to buy them. Um, make sure you have good Wi-Fi. Have a backup plan for a task to make sure you have a good task to work on. And, and just a, a bunch of other good ideas. Um, one of the better ones is take short breaks, and when you do a short break, teach them a new tool, like how to square a building. Um, so here, here's my challenge to you. I'd like you all to go out and create a new meetup group in your neighborhood. Um, help, help get somebody to fund you, get your company to fund you. Um, get OSM to fund you, I'm out of time. Um, add it to the wiki, invite new mappers, schedule a meetup, repeat, do it all over again. <laughs> um, and lastly, um, I'll do some, do I have time for Q&A? Yeah. I got time for Q&A. Um, if, if you saw those little quotes and stuff on there, uh, they came from Ken Scheibitz, he just wrote a book, um, and it's on the bottom there. Uh, it's a book of poems he's been writing for years. He's a um, um, he's, a, he's a doctor in bird, psycho bird uh, behavior. I think bird psychology is probably a better term. So anyway, um, his book's available from Amazon. So questions? Thanks. Who, who pays for the, the $15? Is, are you paying for that? I'm paying for that. Why, why? Why can't you find someone else to pay for that or, or, or ask for a collection? Um, I, I want the meetup. Um, I don't really like having to sit, submit invoices to get reimbursed. Um, and my wife thinks it's cheaper than me going out and drink. So, <laughs> one one suggestion to to maybe fixing it. So I'm an organizer with Map Time LA, and we host a lot of OSM parties. And one of the things that we did at one point was to have a project that was like a it was a state GIS contest to create a portal that was a map of all of the different GIS departments for cities and counties in California. 
Um, and so we, we essentially created like an interactive leaflet map and entered that into the contest to, to win money. We were the only people who entered into the contest. So, uh -huh. and it was good. So we won and we had a little bit of money to kind of pay for the things. That's, that's an excellent idea. Thank you. I am a three, but I never used uh, Meetup for open trick map people. Uh, if uh, if you are free user to get Meetup for free. Yes, for free. Yes. Free is the only way to do open street map. It's it's um, Mike. When we did um, the, the QJS group, uh, we had sixty some members, and it dropped to. Thirteen? Six? Drop to six. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so we're, we're going to, I'm, I'm hoping Meetup listens to us and I hope they fix their issues. Okay. Yeah. I can go back to your first slide after a photo. Go, go back? Oh. Block, I'm blocking, I'm, my head's too big. <laughs> Chase has told me that before too. Any other questions? Well, thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoy the conference. <laughs>